men are killers. Yeah, so am I. Oh my god. This is insane. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Hope you're keeping well. My name is Ramon. This is Hit or Miss TV. It's down the show. We're going to be watching part two to the series or movie series on Netflix called Extraction, starring Chris Hemsworth. I only watched part one last week, and the watch party is on Patreon. If you want to watch that along, like watch along with me, that's down in the description. This will be also be on Patreon as well. I like to apologise as well because I did do Fast and the Furious ten the very day that it was dropped and well at two and a half hours long i finished and i thought let's get to the editing i didn't press record true story what an idiot so this time i'm checking i have pressed record and we're going to get straight into it extraction part two with chris emsworth on netflix out now and tomorrow night as well don't forget i think this is going to be tomorrow night if this is coming out today tomorrow night we're doing the lost boys on the channel so we're watching lost boys which is on amazon prime so yeah Join in, come and join, watch us, get a pizza and all of that. Peace and love, let's do this. He's somehow miraculously still alive. Just go home, would you? <laughs> He's such a sweet romantic, isn't he? Believe it or not, it's pretty difficult to let someone you care about die. She must love him. She must do. Well, at least he's, because he's been in the coma now, he's off the booze and all that. But I don't know how long that'll last. Did the guy from the last movie die? I don't know, the, the drug dealer guy. No, she got him, didn't she? In the bathroom at the end, she did get him. <laughs> Looks like a nice place. Sort of place we could hang out with the boys. So they're going to try and break him out, whoever they are then. Oh shit, look, graveyard. Of course, that ain't gonna go down well. Oh my god. He won't fork, get that. Sorry, he made a point. Sorry. <laughs> to pull the plug. They would have been doing me a favour. Well, next time you have my word. <laughs> it's funny your sister said the same thing. Wow. Do you know what? I prefer Chris Hemsworth with his natural accent. I said that when watching the first movie. I just like his accent. You're going to like it here. All right, brother. I send you that shirt. So he's got to get himself better then. When are we going to see you again? Then we have something to celebrate. I think she must like him, yeah, more than a friend, because the way she looks at him. So is he going to be able to make his leg, get his leg better? I don't know. I guess so. Aussie rules football. He really did send in the shirt. <laughs> From the child he lost. It's a bit much, isn't it? So as he's trying to like face his demons. Oh God. Don't know about you lot, but I'd like to be living there, wherever that is. What is it with him and chickens? <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that I'm going to end up like that? Sounds like a nice fella, doesn't he? That's how you put a woman in her place. You put her in her place, yeah? She's going to be the one who gets him offed. Cool, imagine if you found your father speaking to your mother like that. This is beautiful. What the heck is he doing in it? But I have to say, mate, you're not living up to the hype. What happened? You fall off a bridge, hop in your car and fuck off. It's not very nice, is it? Oh, of course. Heimdall. I'm not so convinced. Can you even pull the trigger like that? Yep, you can. Is that dog wearing a Valentino shirt? Yeah, very good. <laughs> 
currently in a Georgian prison with her two kids. Her husband's locked her in there. Can you imagine that? Wait a second. His ex-wife, sister, got with that fella. Started running drugs in their teens. Graduated to murder for hire. Nice, nice kids. The moment that David finds out that his family's been taken, you can rest assured that his brother's going to want to throw everything at you. Oh, I see. Sounds fun. So he's got to break out the sister then, or the wife. If all goes well, you don't get caught or shot in the face, I'll meet you on the other side and give you a kiss. It's a shame that Idris Elba's not in it, you know? Um, I mean, he's in it, but it's a shame he's not in it. That could have given it a little bit of something else, you know? What are you talking about? Why did they come to you? Haven't you heard, Nick? I'm a bit of a legend now. <laughs> I tell you what the job is and when and how you do it. Yeah, you also told me to find the reason I fought my way back. It's kind of a redemption in his own self, really, to do it for himself, maybe. Well, he's determined, but I don't think they're real rocks. I think that they're fake. That's a good throw. It's making me think he'd be a good Jason Voorhees. As corrupt as anything, isn't it? He might be a little bit rusty, though. Do they know, or is it just going to be a surprise for them all? Stay close. He might be a problem, this kid. Good luck. <laughs> Jesus. Oh dear. I mean, you don't blame them. They want to get out. I was about to say he hasn't shot anyone yet, but made his point. But he's got a silencer, so why did it make a bang noise? Again, if you noticed, all done in one shot. One camera shot again. Brilliant. Oh, my goodness. Now, he ain't very nice at all. So he's going to end up executing this guy and the whole lot are going to be after him. That's what it's going to be about. This is pandemonium again. Oh, that's got to be hot. He just ripped open his fingers, bruv. And a knife to the neck. And a shovel over the head. That there, that's where the problem's going to be. Where's my father? Come on, come on. Get it, go, hold her. Where's my father? Right, so the kids have got out. All from that teddy bear that got dropped. Any route to Charlie that isn't through the common yard? Negative, negative. Oh, good luck with that. Stay close to me, right? Keep swinging that. Are you crazy? <laughs> she got a fry. Is that a frying pan or something? Oh, it's the shovel, the end of the shovel. These lot are crazy. They don't give a damn. Look. Go on, Chris. This is intense. This is good. Like I said in the first one, he loves a knife. <laughs> I'm calling it, he would be an amazing Jason Voorhees. This is just so manic. Ouch. This is great camera work. Wow. <laughs> but he's on fire and he's just like, don't worry about it. And he's just like, don't worry about it. Have one of them. That's one way to put it out. Okay. Hold on. Amazing. The police chasing them in the last one was amazing. This is going to be crazy again. Soldiers, these men are killers. Yeah, so am I. Oh my god. Oh dear. That's where the kids are, no? No, 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 they're not. They're in the front. 
No, no, no. Sorry, he's got the kid. Sorry, it's just all a bit crazy. Got it. Van is taking a beating. Yeah, see, don't they know we're in this car? Do you know what I mean? Because, oh my God. Oh. Jesus Christ. Like, where are they going? I hope they've got a plan here. Well, I mean, they have got a plan, but I hope they've got, like, a proper escape route here. The locations in these movies are really impressive. Looks like the factory from Bloody Terminator. Is that a train line? Looks like it. Get us a med kit. Alright, got it. Kid's gonna be questioning something. The boy, where's my dad? Do you know what I mean? You guys need to take over. Hey, guy. Right, we're on the move. We're on the move. Oh my god, we've got helicopters and everything. <laughs> oh, mate, here we go. Rambo. No way. This is nuts. This is insane. Yeah, that would that would be a good wall in a rocket launcher to the chest. Oh shit, they're gonna get down. Now we're seeing it from their side as well. This is good, really, really impressively done. <laughs> She's kicking ass as well. Come on. What about the girl? What happened to her just now? He's nuts! Oh god, oh god, there's a wall coming. There's a wall coming! This is just so brutal. There's going to be a lot of focus on that boy. Looking at the gun, do you see what I mean? Oh, she got hurt quite bad, but she's okay. She's okay. Shit, get down! Oh my god. It's non-stop. Absolutely non-stop. Cover me! <laughs> He's just gonna go up the top. Here he goes. No way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's just like, yeah, don't worry about it. Stop the train, Nick. Breaks her out. Are you kidding me? Breaks her out. And it's going about, looks about 80 miles an hour, maybe. We'll figure it out later, mate. That's how you stop a train. Bravo, bravo. That was so good. That whole sequence was just amazing. The budget on this must be ridiculous. I don't get why this didn't go to the cinema. I said that about the last one. So we're going to have a bit of calm and hopefully recuperate for a second and then it's going to be major disaster. Oh dear, I told you. Did you kill him? Oh no. He's going to leave. Jesus. Oh, is that how he got the bad ear? Oh my God. He's absolutely nuts, the guy. But then he was abused and God knows what else. Need anything? I'm hungry. And he's left the fucking phone there. Told you, this kid's gonna be trouble. Yeah, could be you got us. That's been it. Since when do you speak Georgian? She doesn't know. That's what this is about. No, she didn't know that. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> tell you when we landed. That should have been straight up. She should have known. Don't keep secrets from your own. He called him up, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to get you guys someplace safe, okay? I promise. Thank you, Tyler. Yep, see? Vengeance.
You noticed as well, this movie's going to film, these movies go to places where you don't see a lot of films being made. So the locations are all very unique for a Western movie, which is, again, it makes it interesting. As long as the little girl's okay. Okay, let's hustle, guys. I need them on a plane in six hours. Multiple visas. Merci. So it's all going to kick off in this building, is it? Oh, dear. I wouldn't have said no to this if it was important to you. She's a good woman, this this girl. She's she's a good woman, a character. She's really, she's a loyal one, you know what I'm saying? She's like ride or die kind of lady. Here, I'll have a croissant and a cake. I don't know if it's the man in me, but it's always the same with these movies. If you watch my channel, you know, whenever there's kids involved, boys not so much because... We're taught to take the brutal beatings of life as men, but it's in our nature to want to protect kid like little girls, and I'm the, I'm that way very much so. So every time I see a little girl like that, all I think I want to do is put my arms around her and look after her, like shoot me, hit me, beat me, but don't hurt the little girl. Everyone deserves a second chance. Little angel, you got to protect the little kid at all all costs. A good son is supposed to stay with his father. A good father wouldn't make him. Yeah, well, at least my father didn't leave us. He doesn't know any better, it's, that's all he knows in the world. You can't be that kind of loyalty from people. I've been waiting for him to say something. Is he going to ask if he knows what he's doing? He seems to be the only one in this savage world that they live in that's got a little bit of reality and common sense still. He knows this is going to end bad. But I do love the fact that they're all so loyal to him. Even though I don't agree with what they're doing, that kind of loyalty can't be bought. Last thing my kid remembers is me walking out on him. But your mum, she stayed. Is this kid going to have a redemption arc where he feels resentment towards him? He's called all the army to come and attack and at the end he's going to realise what he's done was wrong. But you can't blame the kid. So you can be there for her like she was for you. I'll let your father's lies consume you. It's on you, mate. He's going to tell him. The kid's going to say, look, I've done this. I called him here. I'm sorry. That's no, okay. He's coming. Now, nah, fair play, bro. Now, nah, respect to the little man. Look, I can understand why he done what he done because his dad was killed. But for him to sort of... I know, look, it's, it's happening as it's happening quick, but that shows development in his character, the realisation that he knew he was wrong. Oh, it's going down. He doesn't know any better. That's crazy, isn't it? But that's the difference between men and women, I guess. I don't mean it in a bad way, but... I mean, that's proof enough that he don't care about you. They nearly took you out. Drop her on the roof. They're pinching us in. Let's go, come on. Move, move. It's all little things like that that like he just picked remember he just picked up that gun like the beige looking gun and I think it had a rocket launcher for the helicopter he didn't use it and then he put it down it's things like that you don't really see in action movies like you normally pick up something you use it but that seems like a bit more natural like the pick up the gun to fire no I'm not going to and then you know what I mean it just seems more natural I knew it Sandra! Sandra! Got... You know the main girl with the black hair her brother's gone after him. He's going to get killed. <laughs> These lot are crazy. They're absolutely nuts. Oh, shit. Hey! Come oh, no. Odichev. Come back here. Come back to your mother. Sandro, look at Shinia. Look at Shinia. Look at Shinia. What are you doing, kid? <laughs> Holy crap. Kid's conflicted, isn't he? But not going to end well. Granada! Yeah, the action sequences in this are so impressive. Really, really impressive. Did he just pull a bomb? Oh my god, he did. It's just like, it's non-stop adrenaline. So they're kind of guiding them back into what to get back in the building. Good shot. Another good shot. 
Uh oh. Bye bye, chopper. We've seen like three or four choppers get shot down like it's been insane. I like this guy's a villain, he's really good. Oh, what a little sweetheart, I told you, protect the little girl at all costs, that's all you need. That's wonderful, I love that, I love that. What about the amateur group queen? Nothing to be sorry about, getting you out of here, okay? And he's like, oh crap, how do we get out of this? You done this, mate. Oh god. She's crazy. Oh. I kind of need you to wake up, love. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, you know, I feel to lose someone in love. Oh dear. Good girl, out of bullets, but it don't matter. Shit. How is he gonna get out of this one? Oh, that'll do it. Oh, we've got this guy, the big incredible Hulk looking dude. He's one big dude, isn't he? Look at him. A fucking tank. Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. Well done, you. Well done, you. Are you good? Oh, good. Thank God. I'm glad he's all right. I really like that brother. I think he's great. What a location to be fighting on. Don't get me wrong though, I would rather be inside. Glass roof, I'm not feeling it. I would have like dropped a grenade down there or something. I told you. I told you he was going to get done. I knew it. I just had a gut feeling. God. He's not going to make it. I know he ain't gonna make it. I just had that feeling. Yeah, it's look at me, mate. Eyes on me. Okay, stay with me, buddy. I got you. I got you. Ah, oh, shit. I don't want him to die, man. I like this guy. That sucks. That really sucks, man. Mm. He should have, you know, when he was fell through the glass ceiling, like I said, he should have dropped a grenade. He should have done something. This is where you wanted to be, boy. But at the same time, I don't blame him. He's a kid. The question being, is she going to resent him for taking this job? So is she going to blame him or hold him responsible somewhat, maybe? I don't know. I hope not. Holy shit, is that his wife? His ex-wife? Oh, wow. There is, is it uh, Olga, what's her name? He does have a point. Jiminy Cricket, is that Pinocchio? Oh no. Oh yeah. I knew that was coming. Killed by your own. That's, a sh that's shameful. He's just absolutely insane, the geezer. No, Sandro's a little bastard. Why didn't you stay? Well, then they, they needed me in... Um, no, in cut the shit. And Tell the truth. Fix it. I couldn't fucking fix it. I think that's a big difference and, and women don't understand as well is that men are always taught from birth a bit like what the the guy from Georgia south, in south of Russia these this army it's to beat it into you failure is not accepted you have to provide for a family you cannot fail that's what's drummed into boys from birth beaten into you from birth I can understand he couldn't save his child he felt like a failure and he couldn't he couldn't deal with that why don't you tell me where you are and we can finish what we started want to negotiate I'm not coming Negotiate. All right, so they're going to have a face-off, which is it's got to end one way or another. Open the door. Open the door! Tyler! It's going to come to it where this dude is going to have Chris Hemsworth in a bad way, and the kid is going to have to make a decision. 
No, he didn't. Rocket launcher to the head. I don't think he's up there anymore, mate. I think he's in several places. There goes the plane. There goes the car. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The one the boy here is. It's between me and you. He's put a bomb on the boy, for real. He's nuts. Life is slowly draining from your body. It's pretty screwed, yeah. So we've just got to get the trigger off him, the, the bomb trigger. Uh-oh, what's he going to do? And point at his head. You're a coward. Yeah, you are a coward. You're a pussy. He learnt nothing from the beating from his father, does he? It's okay, mate. He doesn't blame the kid. The kid's in a bloody awful position, but still. He's one nasty bit of work, this guy. Oh. She couldn't leave it behind. Told you the kid's going to save them all. Here we go. Oh dear. Sore to the wrist. That's got to hurt. Yeah, screwdriver. That'll do. Have one of them, bitch. That was, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Anything goes, doesn't it, in this film? The fuck are they? Are they scaffolding cables? Yeah, tubing. Oh, flipping heck. Oh my god. These guys take some serious beating in this film. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's not going to be the end of it, so that guy's going to get the bombs put on him. Flipping heck, straight in the chest. I have enough stuff. You will now, mate. Is she going to die as well? Are you taking the pee? I hope she don't die as well. No, it looks like she will be okay. That's good. That's good. Oh, they're in prison. I suppose, yeah, I suppose for what they've been doing in that country. Yeah, you've got to be, ain't you? <laughs> the ex-wife is there to see him. His last image of you wasn't you walking out on him. It was you going off to save people. So she's saying that to give him a bit of peace, maybe. Does he deserve it? I don't know. So that chapter of his life is over and it's it's resolved and finished, but... Yeah. And he ends up in prison. Idris Elba's going to get him out. He said he would be there at the end. I knew it. Idris Elba has got him out. Come and do another job for us. Not without my team, I'm not leaving her behind. Thought you might say that. Yeah, they're coming as well. Work for the American government and we'll keep you going kind of thing. It's an excuse for a sequel, I guess. But, you yeah, know. Right, okay, let's get to our review. Right, ladies and gents, that was Extraction Part 2. Don't think it was as good as the first movie, but I still think it was a very solid movie. This is probably like a, a 6, 7 out of 10 movie. I know that's kind of like the, the middle ground I normally go with with a review. If it's really bad, I'd give it, you know, like under 5 if it's really crap, you know what I mean? I'd say this was a really impressive sequel. I'd say the three good things about this movie, again, love the locations, the cinematography in this, the way the action sequences were shot were just absolutely outstanding. I really like the cast. I think the villains in this movie movie were very good i think the main villain in this film was he was very good and he was evil nasty bit of work him and his brother i also like the redemption arc for him and his ex-wife and the the things with the children involved and it kind of it simulates everything in his life really that sort of not being able to forgive himself in the redemption arc of his own character that's my opinion on the movie anyway I, there ain't really many things i didn't like about the film to be quite honest with you i just enjoyed the first one so much and i enjoyed this one i think it's one of the good things that netflix has put together more importantly i'd love to know what your thoughts are on the movie did you like this one as much as the first one do you think the first one was better do you think this one was better let us know down in the comments if there's any other movies or tv shows that you'd like me to react to on the channel please let me know down in the comments and again if you want to watch along with me all this kind of content join me on patreon i'd like to thank you all very much for watching my name's ramon and i'll see you guys in the next video peace and love
are they still here? Hi. Hi. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. If you want to hit the like button, it would really help this video. Because then more people might watch. Because no one watches my videos. We've got more videos, like that one up there. Yeah. You could watch this one up there. We could come back later. But please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.